Hey everyone, Sean Carey with Migration Productions and welcome back to Exploring the Natural World. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm here on the island of Flate in Iceland and I wanted to share my thoughts with you on this location in case you're planning a trip to Iceland, you may want to consider putting this in, on your itinerary. So to get to Flate, you're going to take the ferry from Stikkesholmer. It's about an hour and a half ferry ride to get here. Once you arrive, you've got one location to stay at, and that's Hotel Flate, which is where we're staying. Fantastic inn that they run here, hotel. The staff is great. The food is excellent. The service. Uh, we've got a small bar downstairs. The accommodations. The whole package. It's just fantastic. So if you're planning a trip to Flate and you want to stay on the island, I'd make my reservation early and stay at Hotel Flate. I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, stick around to the very end of this video because I'm going to show you a bunch of photos that I took here just to give you a real idea of how good the bird photography can be here. So, what about the bird photography? Well, you've got a nice selection of, of birds to photograph here, and you've got it all on a very small island that is very walkable. You can do the entire island walking in probably about 20 minutes would be my guess. So it's not a particularly big island. But what is here, you've got real good access to a lot of the species to photograph, and those opportunities should allow you to get some really excellent photos. One of the things that you're gonna see here on the island in pretty decent numbers in terms of shorebirds is going to be red shanks. They're pretty much all over the island. In fact, I'm surprised there's not one here calling right now because it seems like no matter where you go, there's a red shank kind of uh, chirping in your ear, uh, even if you're on the, on the path. It doesn't matter. There's just red shanks everywhere. In terms of other species, uh, just what I'm looking around here, uh, northern fulmar uh, flying over here on these cliffs behind me. You've got a handful of nesting northern fulmars here. And you can get up to the top of that cliff and you can get this really nice bird's eye view and get some really good photo op. That's the red shank, by the way. It'll probably be calling almost the entire video. Uh, you're also going to get common eiders. Uh, almost all females this time of the year, so when you get into uh, late, mid to late June and into early July, it's the females, the males have pretty much bailed out. And you've got the females with the young babies. Uh, they're swimming around in a lot of these coves. So, so lots of opportunities with, with common eider and, and little babies. In addition to that, you're going to get redneck phalaropes. Lots of redneck phalaropes. There's redneck phalaropes all over this island. They nest here in very good numbers. In 2014, when I was here, we did have one red phalarope, although this year we, we, we did not find one. But it's definitely very possible, I guess, to get red phalarope here. Uh, but redneck phalarope, you're going to see them all over the place. So really good opportunities for redneck phalarope. In addition to that, you're going to get Eurasian oyster catcher. Did real well with Eurasian oyster catcher in 2014. What do I got up there? Oh, the common snipe just flew away. Did really well with uh, Eurasian oyster catcher in 2014 and again here in 2022. So that's one you're going to you're going to definitely going to have. Uh, also, black-tailed godwit. Now, in 2014, we did not see black-tailed godwit here, but there's at least two pair here this year. So uh, I don't know what's going on, but there's there's one pair on this side of the island and one on the other side of the island. Uh, in addition to that. Lots of arctic terns. This place is loaded with arctic terns. In fact, there's a bird sanctuary that's on part of the island which is set aside for the arctic terns. So you're going to see hundreds if not thousands of arctic terns nesting here on the island. So don't worry about seeing arctic terns. That's definitely going to be one you're going to have on your list. One of the real highlights here, I think for birders and bird photographers in particular, is photographing black guillemots. Black guillemots nest in many locations throughout the island. And they're all along these rocky coves in here and nesting in these little rock crevices, including several that are nesting right behind and along the, the shoreline there in the rocks uh, leading up towards the bird sanctuary, uh, right behind Hotel Flate. Lots of black guillemots nesting there. So this is a fantastic place to see and photograph black guillemots. So this is a reason that a lot of photographers want to come here is for black guillemot. It's not that you can't get them in other places, but they're very accessible here. You're also going to have decent opportunities with uh, snow bunting. Uh, in fact, there's one that's nesting directly behind Hotel Flate. So we spent some time the first day we got here in the evening trying to photograph snow bunting. You can also get white wagtail. In addition to that, I had a handful of ready turn stones the other day, uh, which I did not have in 2014. So apparently they're very possible here. So lots of species to see and photograph here. You're going to see off behind Hotel Flotte, you're going to see puffins. They nest on an island behind there, but I don't know that there's really any puffin photography that can be had here, but you'll see them. Uh, you're also going to see a black-headed gull. So, again, a very nice selection of birds to see and photograph here. So if you're planning a trip to Iceland, you may want to add the island of Flotte to your list. Spend a couple, two, three days here. Get access to all these locations here. Very walkable again. Very accessible to photograph these birds. I think you're really going to enjoy it. 
again, if you decide to come, make sure you make your reservation at the hotel in advance. Uh, and I think you really enjoy staying at Hotel Plate. So that's it. Just a real quick overview of what it's like uh, to spend some time here on the island of Flate. I think you're going to enjoy it. I know I've enjoyed it. It's really a great place to visit and a lot of birds to photograph here and just a real, real nice experience. So that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos here on Exploring the Natural World. And as always, remember, please help protect wildlife and help protect wild places. Cheers. And now let's take a look at some of those photos I promised. Take care.